Hi, my name's Martin. I'm from Marine Flow Products. We are a completely independent marine motor factors specialising in uh, engine parts for all manufacturers. Um, in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at the differences between OEM engine parts and aftermarket engine parts. To start off, we're going to be looking at this one. This is a 3840525 Volvo Penta oil filter. Now, this filter fits probably the most common um, engine in the Volvo Penta range, the D130, along with many of the other compact engines. Um, now, we'll be comparing it to this one. Um, to all intents and purposes, looks like the same filter. It's the same size. It's the same weight, near enough. I think there's 20 grams in it between the two. Um, Price-wise, this one comes in at 18 pounds and 20 pence plus the VAT and the aftermarket item comes in at £6.50 plus the VAT. Now, we stock both of these, we sell a lot of each of these. But what are the differences? As I say, to look at them, they all look very similar. Um, it's not until you actually get inside the filters that you then start to see why this one's three times more expensive than this one. So, here's some I prepared earlier. So, thread is the same and the sealing surface is the same on, uh, on both items here. Um, you can see from the bottom, um, same number of holes, slightly different size. Um, but when we actually get inside the two filters, you can actually see there is one main difference between the two and that is the quality of the filter material inside. This is the Volvo item, and as you can see, a sort of zigzag pattern, allowing for a lot more media um, to be actually put inside that small space. The aftermarket unit, um, obviously just parallel lines or folds in the filter material. Um, now I'm sure if we took these apart even further, we could stretch out the material um, the surface area that this, this filter has, the genuine Volvo unit, um, is far, far greater than the non-genuine unit. Looking inside the, the filter cases, obviously both units have this spring. Um, now the purpose of this spring, should that filter get blocked and um, not allow oil to pass through, the idea is this spring will compress and it will allow oil to flow in the filter and straight out of the filter without being passed through the filter medium uh, itself. Um, now, the Volvo unit is a lot lighter uh, and easier to compress than the, um, than the aftermarket unit, ultimately meaning that if there was a blockage, um, this is gonna this is gonna allow oil to flow through a lot easier than the aftermarket unit. And there we go. Both filters also have what they call um, a I think it's defined as an anti-flowback device. Um, this one is a quite a thin um, a thin piece of rubber. Basically means that any filter um, any oil that's in the filter. Um, when the engine's off, will stay in the filter, meaning at first start, you're not gonna have any interruptions to the flow. Uh, same with the aftermarket unit, a much more substantial um, rubber unit here. Um, obviously there to do, to do the same job. Um, so that's it. That's what your money buys you. Probably, if I had to guess, maybe three or four times more filter uh, material inside the unit. Than, than the aftermarket. Now, as I say, we sell both of these. Um, we sell a lot of these and we sell a lot of these. Um, ultimately, they're both gonna filter your oil. Um, this has obviously been made to the manufacturer's own standard as to how they think your engine should be run. Um, and this is a, a more generic um, aftermarket option. Ultimately, the choice is yours. Um, we're here to present the facts um, in an informed, um, an informed way uh, and ultimately let you, the end user, make the decisions. Um, 
please subscribe to our channel. As I say, this is the first in a series of videos that we'll be producing. Um, we're going to be looking at Volvo Penta fuel filters. We're going to be looking at some air filters. Um, we're going to go up the engine range into the sort of three, 400 horsepower sort of um, area. We'll have a look at the filters, um, impellers on, on those machines. Um, and some of the, some of the hardware, uh, exhaust elbows especially. Um, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.